say, George, you're not my president. Go to your room until you learn to behave. I just am so looking forward to being out of office. If I were really, really in that situation where I was, you know, sitting on a plane or wherever next to, you know, the president of the United States, I, I think I'd probably be pretty uncomfortable and I don't know if I would voice a particular opinion to him or not. I mean, because if I were to be honest, I'd have to say, I'm, you know, I've been really disappointed in your presidency. That would be probably what I'd really want to say. I don't know if I would have to to say that. If I had him strapped to a chair and he was, like, forced to answer my questions, <laughs> You know, I guess one of the things I'd be curious about is, um, uh, you know, I, my understanding is, is Christian, right? It's a fundamental premise of Christianity is to love your neighbor as you love yourself. And so I'm just curious how he would resolve, uh, like initiating um, war in Iraq, for example, with the, the moral responsibility of the people who die there. I'd like to see just what effect the war is having on him because there must be some sort of way that killing all these people has some sort of effect on someone. And Mr. President, I want to tell you you have caused me a lot of lighthearted moments. Every time I see you commenting on a news clip, I just break up. It is so funny. I can't wait for you to leave the White House. I really, really can't. So we can restore the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. You really must be glad that this is almost over for you. And I would be just curious to uh, see as a human being if he would just say, like, yeah, you know, you bet your ass I am. In very loud, large capital letters, I'd like to say to Mr. Bush, good, Bye. And that's what I would say to him. I appreciate the opportunity to, to work on this project because it's, it's really, I like being able to see what other people have to say. I think this is a great thing for reaching out to people and allowing them to say what they really need to say. I hope that this short documentary um, has given the people that we've spoken to a voice. Um, I hope it has helped them feel more connected with themselves and their community. And um, I hope it encourages other people to uh, say what they really think in a very authentic way.